distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nurul Atira Salith, economist from Hongnang Research, and I'll be our host for today. A very good morning to everyone, and welcome to the 16th Bursa HLIB's Trade and Focus series with our topic today on tourism, welcoming a new dawn. According to the UN World Tourism Organization, the 2020 loss of tourism revenue due to the COVID-19 pandemic was 11 times that of the 2009 economic crisis. Malaysia was not spared as tourism receipts recorded a drop of 71% in 2020. With full international borders reopening this year, countries including Malaysia are hopeful to win back tourists and jumpstart industry once again. The task, however, seems to be more challenging than ever. In this series, we wish to highlight the emerging trend in tourism post-COVID-19 and how the authority, independent research bodies, and industry players react to the new norm, especially in the context of Malaysia. Before we delve deeper with today's discussion, I would like to remind our speakers to please abide by the time limit. And for our guests, should you have any questions, we would appreciate if they are reserved for the Q&A session after our speakers have presented. Due to unforeseen circumstances, Mr. Hasmi Yusuf from Frost and Sylvan could not make it today, so there will be a slight change in our program, and we apologize for the inconvenience caused. To kick off our event for today, please allow me to welcome Ms. Lee Jim Ling, Group Managing Director and CEO of Hong Yong Investment Bank, to give her opening remarks. Let's welcome Ms. Jim Ling. Our distinguished panel of speakers, Yang Berbahagia Datuk Musa Haji Yusof, Deputy Director, General Promotion of the Malaysian Tourism Promotion Board, Injek Hasmi Yusof, Senior VP, Country Head, uh, Frost and Sullivan. I understand he's not well. Uh, so he won't be here today. Inchit Magat Adian Wira Muhammad Aminuddin, Senior General Manager, Strategy of Malaysian Airports Holdings Berhad. Ms. Shireen Asli, Chief Marketing Officer of KPJ Healthcare Berhad. Yang Berbahagia, Tan Sri Tan Sri, Dato Dato, Datin Datin, all our very clients, ladies and gentlemen. A very good morning and welcome to our BUSA HLIB Stratum Focus Series the 16th edition with the team, tourism, and welcoming a new dawn. Ladies and gentlemen, the tourism industry has emerged from the shadows of the darkest hour, overcoming the stringent COVID-19 travel tests, lockdowns, isolation orders, and the grim statistics of rising cases and fatalities. We have just witnessed a pivotal moment in this journey with the reopening of the China border in March, a milestone signifying our triumph over one of the deadliest virus in human history. This not only brings about renewed hope for the revival of the tourism sector, but also promises a brighter future for all. And yet, the path to recovery that followed proved to be as formidable as the battle itself. The post-pandemic landscape has presented numerous economic challenges to businesses and nations over worldwide. These challenges range from soaring interest rates, elevated oil prices, rising inflation, to intense competition, labor shortages, and skill gaps. These hurdles pose a considerable risk to the ongoing recovery efforts of most countries. In response to these challenges, business and nations are working hard to reclaim their share of the tourist market. According to the UNWTO, by the end of July this year, international tourist arrivals had reached 84% of pre-pandemic levels. We projected to hit 95% by the close of 2023. However, the Asia-Pacific region is only showing tourist arrivals at 61% of its pre-pandemic levels. And in the case of Malaysia, tourist arrivals from January to June 2023 stood at 9.16 million, 35% of its pre-pandemic levels in 2019, when the country welcomed 26.1 million visitors. As we look forward to steering ourselves out of the complexities of the post-pandemic recovery, it is essential to draw inspiration from success stories in the tourism sector and take, for instance, the remarkable strikes made by countries like South Korea, which has emerged as a beacon of innovation in capturing the attention of tourists. As reported in August 2023, 
the number of foreign tourists visiting South Korea has exceeded 1 million in a month for the first time since the outbreak of COVID-19. South Korea's success can be attributed to its ingenious tourism products and services, coupled with a forward-thinking approach to marketing. Notably, the country has embraced the power of digital influencers and content creators, welcoming them with special visas to showcase the beauty and uniqueness of their nation. This strategic move has resulted in a proliferation of engaging content on tourism and lifestyle, creating a virtual narrative that captivates audiences worldwide. The innovative approach not only enhances South Korea's global visibility, but also acts as a powerful catalyst for attracting more tourists. Ladies and gentlemen, clearly there's still much work to be done for Malaysia. We are optimistic that there are abundant opportunities within these numbers. Beyond increased business prospects, the government can harness significant economic benefits from the tourism industry. Notably, the tourism sector is the third largest contributor to Malaysia's GDP, following the manufacturing and commodity sectors, accounting for approximately 14% of our GDP and employed 23.4% of the total workforce in 2022. And so today, we hope to use this session to gather invaluable insights from our esteemed speakers who will enlighten us on the latest figures, trends, challenges, industry outlook, and the potential threats and opportunities in the tourism sector. Given their wealth of experiences in the industry, we are confident that the knowledge gained today will empower participants to make more informed decisions and explore the investment opportunities that the sector has to offer. This Stratum series is our learning journey together, and we certainly look forward to forging a path forward towards a resilient and thriving tourism industry. With that, ladies and gentlemen, let the session begin and wishing all of you a great day ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Jimling, for the warm opening.